What's happening, friends? Ryan McCaffrey with IGN. I'm joined by Chris from Capybara Games. He's the creative director. Chris, we're playing below. It's here, <laughs> December 14th. So, which, which, depending on when you're hearing this, that may be in the past, and therefore, below might be out. It is coming out. I'm so happy. It's, uh, it is coming out, and I'm glad you're very happy. I'm uh, at this very moment just kind of anxious and terrified. <laughs> Well, so you know, but I'm, still, I'm also excited, and uh, yeah, it's just you know, pre-launch jitters. We're playing the beginning of the game here, or, or cl very close to the beginning of the game. Yeah. Just past the intro cutscene, you can check that out for yourself by purchasing below. Help give these guys a break. Buy below. It's been one of the most anticipated <laughs> uh, releases on Xbox One for years now, and that's. I thought you know, we've done plenty of gameplay videos on below over the years, but I thought it, it would be great while you're in town here to sit down. Uh, with the with the background of the game to just talk about like as a human being like how are you how are you doing like this has been I mean plenty of games I'm not a game developer but I've certainly reported on and read about plenty of games that take a long time to develop game yeah. making games is very difficult uh, you know that better than certainly I do but the fact that this game has been out in the public eye for five years now how how has the, the the end of this journey been now as you're about to send the game out into the world? Um, I mean, very stressful, I think. Anytime you spend a really long time on a, on a, on a project, uh, you know, whether it's a film or yeah. anything, um, it just sort of uh, becomes a little bit more personal and sort of seeps into your bones a bit. So, <laughs> I don't know. I'm feeling a little bit anxious because, yeah, it's just been so such a long... Uh, uh, development and it's you know it hasn't been an easy one as well, so um, I want to get into I'm that feeling a little, little bit, I'm feeling a little bit nuts, but that's uh, fair. I mean, but, that's al fair. but also I'm excited. I'm excited. Uh, you know, sometimes I can sort of like get out of my own head and and, and see see where we're at and uh, and see what we've accomplished and uh, and obviously and also showing it to to you and uh, and other people who you know who haven't lived and breathed this game for for multiple years of their lives. Uh, people can cut. It's nice to see their reactions to it. Yeah. Uh, because then it kind of reminds you, it's like, oh yeah, somebody is going to play this uh, at some point very soon, and um, and they're not going to have like a history of yeah, a preconceived of, notion of, of, of uh, uh, yeah, like tumultuous <laughs> development. Uh, you know. Um, uh, so I, I do want to ask you highlighting more the, about the experience about sort of that part of it, the 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 human you know development cycle side of it, but just. For those, for the benefit of, of Xbox gamers who who maybe bought an Xbox a lot more recently, or, or you know, of course it's available on PC as well. We're actually playing off of a PC build right now uh, with the Xbox controller plugged in. But just what what is the the elevator pitch version? What is Below? Uh, Below is a solitary journey through the haunted depths of a forbidden isle, um, and it's also a roguelike. Uh, it has like procedurally generated uh, dungeons, um, but uh, it also kind of uh, bridges that the gap with a with sort of like a Zelda style adventure game. Um, in in that the the world isn't completely uh, randomly generated; it has like a certain structure. Yeah. Um, so that's the kind of game that that, that this is. This is a uh, an adventure game with roguelike elements. Um, uh, you're, you know, you're sort of spelunking your way through a deep dark hole and trying to uh, explore the sort of labyrinthian depths of, of this uh, mysterious island um, and uh, you know supporting that is a little bit of crafting a little bit of survival um, <coughs> and uh, and that's that kind of that's the, the the main sort of components of the game survival roguelike adventure in the sort of classic Zelda sense of the word everything about that sounds fantastic that's like exactly exactly my kind of game certainly um, so what you know if, by roguelike? So that means the game's going to change every time you play, is that or or be be, be uh, it's going to be laid out differently maybe every time I play. Uh, yeah, it's not a it's not a, a completely uh, randomly generated uh, world. So for example, um, something like Minecraft is a you know a different seed uh, that's you know everything is completely reconfigured in yeah. in, in a in a whole new way. Um, this game is more akin to something like Spelunky or, or Diablo, okay. where um, the game does have an actual structure to it. Yeah. Um, there's zones that you pass through, um, and the, the game world has like a specific flow to it. Um, and so the, 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 wor the levels themselves, uh, you know, the, the, the zones that you pass through are always generated after, uh, after you die. 
Um, but the structure of the game remains the same. So you can sort of learn how to play through these caves and, uh, and get better at it before you get to the next zone um, and, uh, and sort of get better through play rather than just sort of dealing with a whole new um, experience that is uh, like entirely something you need to figure out. You can, you can actually learn the shape of the world huh. um, and, uh, and sort of get better at navigating it. Well, the, the tone here being set early on, the, the atmosphere with the lighting and, and the uh, sort of volumetric cloud action fog stuff going on, this very moody game, which I like. Definitely, yeah. Uh, that's Thumbs been up that to the art director. Uh, thanks. That would. That's. I mean, the art team. I think has been uh, tremendous on this team, uh, on this on this project. And uh, um, I think early on we sort of started off with a very sort of strong uh, idea for the the art direction. It's sort of this small scale zoomed out, tilt shift sort of yeah. look. Um, and uh, and over the years we've just been working on refining this uh, this art style. Um, and that's one thing that I'm, I'm very, very happy with, with the results, uh, the sort of unique feel and, uh, and look of this game. I think it's something that it's been sort of a saving grace for us, uh, when it comes to our long development yeah. and that, you know, technology has changed and, and a lot of things have, have, uh, <coughs> have in, improved and, you know, you see games in Unreal and, and, and Unity that are just phenomenal looking. Um, but it's, thankfully the sort of unique art style has kept this game. Uh, in its own little category. Yeah. Um, so, I want to get back to again whoops. just the the human side of this and the and the the conclusion of this of this long development journey. So, you mentioned how it's it's a little refreshing for you to to come in and show it to to people who who haven't been living it every day for the last number of years. Have you guys done a lot of do you guys do focus testing along the way to with either even with like friends or family members to try and get those fresh takes on it so if you're if you're feeling too lost in it yourself um yeah we do we do test we do internal testing we do some external testing as, as well um we handle a lot of that stuff ourselves uh we also you know put the game through uh through qa and stuff like that we we uh we do a lot of that stuff in, in, in house but we we don't necessarily uh do like uh, massive focus testing yeah on it so um part of it is that we with with all of our games, we try to go a little bit more specific um, in, in terms of the experience as opposed to going very wide. I think a lot of a lot of games are, are sort of built to capture everybody, but I think there's definitely room <coughs> uh, in video games to make things that are, you know, somebody out there is going to love it very much. And tuning to something that's a little bit more, has a little bit more unique flavor, um, Gosh, I'd rather have that ten times out of ten. I, mean, <laughs> I think that's a that's a better game every single time than something aimed for aimed at everybody. Then you get you know, jack of all trades, master of none kind of situation. Yeah, I, I kind of. I mean, I love I love games that are you know, built for all for sure. I'm not I'm not actually you know complaining about that or anything like that. Um, it's uh, but I do think that it's it's sometimes okay to try to like tune and and develop something that, um, that kind of stands on its own and maybe appeals to. A specific audience yeah like for example like cuphead might be something that uh, like when i look at cuphead i think man that is like something that a very specific audience loves sure and even even from the difficulty perspective but even the art style everything about it is sort of like made very confidently to be a very specific thing yes um and the the end results for that is that it captured its audience um because they sort of delivered on that very specific dream. <laughs> so that's got to make you when when a, when a game like Cuphead sells a couple million copies, then or, or maybe more at this point, that's got to make you guys feel good as you're continuing this, right? Like if you feel like that you share those at least sort of philosophies with Cuphead, that maybe that that you'll you guys will be able to find a, a similar level of success by by connecting with people in that similar kind of way. Um, I never I never really kind of assume that kind of stuff, but it does it does make me feel a little bit more confident just yeah. like pursuing that path and you know looking at certain examples of games that um, that uh, that are successful not because like they're successful specifically because they're not for everybody exactly <laughs> exactly and I think I, I mean I hope below is for everybody I hope everybody is as bummed out as I am and enjoys this atmosphere um, but uh Look at that fog. That is cool. So, uh, we, but but yeah, I think it's also okay if, if some people are, uh, you know, 
If it's not if, for them. If, if it's not necessarily, <laughs> whoops. <laughs> So as we take a look at just a couple more minutes here, uh, so we don't want to give away everything. I mean, I guess that there, this is a, there's a lot to do in this game, I imagine. I mean, we're, we're, we're like 10 minutes in, 15 minutes in, but this is not going to be like a two hours and you're done kind of game, is it? Oh, no, this is by far the biggest game that we've made. Um, I think it's a very long game. Um, the game world is quite extensive. Um, I think the first playthrough is going to be... Um, uh, quite challenging and uh, and and I think time consuming. Uh, not time consuming, but taking. Uh, I think it's a good length game. Yeah. Um, like it's. It, I would. I would put it in in the realm of like uh, of Diablo one. Uh, right. Maybe. Oh, I like that. Um, Speaking my language. Where you know it's it's not the biggest game in the world, but it it. Uh, you won't finish it overnight either. No, you won't be finishing it overnight. Yeah. Although who knows? You know, like. <laughs> I'm sure the people who made Dark Souls didn't expect <laughs> some some guy to beat it in 45 minutes that's while true. while naked. <laughs> you know, like that's yeah. that's not what they planned for. So right. I'm sure there's going to be runs of this game that um, surprise us. Um, but uh, but yeah, I think it's a hefty it's a hefty game for sure. All right, so Xbox One, PC, and uh, it is out. December 14th, which, when you're watching this, might be now. Go give it a look. The team at Cappy has worked many years refining this. I mean, I guess that would be my last question for you, Chris, would be, has has the uh, sort of focus or, or uh, design thesis of this evolved in any significant way? Has it, has it really changed a lot over the years, or has it really just been about taking the time to hone in the original vision? Uh, it's 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 a combination of both. The the original vision has never really changed. Yeah. Um, so most of the time that we've spent in this game has been uh, just trying to arrive at that uh, at that concept. Um, but all this all the ideas um, that we have in the game right now have existed for quite a long time. And so a lot of it has been just um, refinements and and uh, an iteration. And you know sometimes and I, we have the idea, but it you know we bark up the wrong tree for. Uh, uh, you know, multiple iterations yeah. before we we get the right version of that right idea. So, I would say that the game has a lot of the same components that it started with, but um, over the years we've we've uh, we've just you know uh, spent a lot of time focusing on the details of the art style and this and the uh, uh, the mechanics and um, yeah. And here we go. Well, I'll, it's, let me it's be... stayed similar, but it's also evolved quite a bit and uh, and has changed. Uh, and there's been also changes in the narrative and things like that as well. Awesome. Well, let me be one of the first to say congratulations to you guys because it's. Thank you. I don't know if I've ever worked for five continuous years on on any one project before. I mean, it's it's a heck of an undertaking, and uh, from everything I've seen, which is far beyond just what I've seen here. I've, you know, I've been keeping an eye on it over the years myself. You guys have a lot to be proud of, and I, I can't wait to sit down and play it myself. So uh, do check it out on Xbox One or PC. Uh, look for a full review of Below on IGN very soon. Again, possibly now, depending on when you're, you're seeing this video. Keep an eye out for that. Uh, Chris, thank you so much. My and, pleasure. Uh, I hope you're able to find... You deserve a nice vacation now after finishing this one off. Oh, yeah. I, I'm, I think there's a sabbatical <laughs> on the way for me. Well um. deserved. <laughs> uh, for more on all things Below, more on all things Xbox, more on all things video games, keep it tuned right here to IGN. Thanks.